there are many who, throughout the years, have attempted to claim the name as Emperor of Lyria. Some who have failed, some who have burned, some who are lost to time. Yet in the end, it would not be an emperor, but an empress who would finally take the title, who would finally settle Valyria not as some colony or hobble, but as the capital, the centre of an empire of the same name. Valyria, an empire of dragon riders lost in volcanic ash, a land of mystery and strange beings, a land fought cursed. Yet from the ashes, a new empire rises, from the cinders of old, an empire is restored, and an emperor's crown is to be placed upon the head of Empress Sainris, the title of her father, north of Valyria, but that will not be enough, and soon this woman of no children, a widow, no acclaim, an empress surely deigned to be lost to time and history, shall earn the ultimate prize. There is a path towards this, a path that must be taken. As work is done to repatriate the Freeholds back under Valyrian command. One of her mightiest generals, a man of sin the blood, shall be granted Pentos. Tarosh shall be given new blood to strengthen Valyrian control with new families of renown. As for the rest, Cyneris herself shall choose successors and their titles. To turn her empire into one of Valyrian name. Valyrian culture. Valyrian blood. Only Bravos stood against these decrees, demanded the continuance of their old ways. The Empress agreed for now, at least. Bravos was a tricky place, and many say that it was their faceless men who helped burn Valyria to ashes. Perhaps a fairy tale, perhaps a lie. But if it was true, even an inch of it true, she would not make the same mistake. Her Valyria would be eternal. Let all rejoice and say the name. Sainris, first of her name, the Empress of Valyria. Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones where we are continuing is Empress Sainris of North Valyria. Of course, a woman in a very interesting situation, as her heir is her uh, nephew, Magor, through rights of male succession, as uh, she herself is a, is a widower ever since her dear beloved uh, Baina passed away, the king of the Long Summers, which now means instead it's our, actually our dowager mother who commands the kingdom of Long Summer. We have done work on... Uh, I guess almost uh, reorganizing the kingdom. Bravos has been kept within the rule of Bravos. So please, it is impossible to control the city without its current system. However, Pentos has been repatriated under Valerian, a, a king of Cinder Blood. Uh, it's, his vassal limit will increase is actually fifty. Uh, he is related to us through. He's our cousin through Maris. See. Uh, one of Valerian's grandchildren. Tarosh has been granted to a new house, House Rapataris, a very uh, wealthy house uh, granted to their sort of warrior son. Uh, still unmarried, but now that he's a, but a lord, I'm sure he's soon to marry himself. Mia has been granted to Asinda, uh, the son of Jaehaerys the King Slayer, the Lord of Atlantis. This, I mean, is mostly to sate Valantis, our most powerful kingdom, as uh, they did most of the war in crushing Mir. Of course, I've significantly destroyed almost the uh, the borders of Mir, making them much smaller than they were. They used to have all the way up to here and a little bit of here. We fixed their borders, made them a bit weaker, but we've given them to uh, someone loyal to Valantis. So this could, you know, these are now two tied together houses, but it keeps Valantis tied to us. And we uh, Lease is also being given to a new house, a house of Fatal. However, it was impossible for us to keep the locals fine with a king, and so he has been named an Archon. He is a Lyrian, but he is an Archon, and likely he will be voted out very soon. That's just the way things go. 
We ourselves are over our demence limit as we have taken bones to continue our expansion, primarily in uh, the hills of Nolos and the Dragon Fields. Two new colonies, and these are full base level colonies. These are going to take a long time to build up. Although Morris obviously was actually pretty quick, so hopefully having these two fully built may mean that things will go quicker for us. Obviously we have a lot that we are building in these two, as these two are almost my focus now on uh, working on these. Uh, we'll get with a lot of these. And we'll go with stuff and no other kings for all of them. It means they won't like me much, but... Uh, they will, the negative modifiers will be overwritten by the fact that I've given them their titles directly. So they'll they'll be fine with being called all paramounts. Ooh. Rock's falling apart a bit. I think something's going on over here. Is it a civil war of some kind? So who owns King's Landing? Oh, it's it's a, directly a plum? No, it's House Martin. <laughs> George R. R. Martin taking over the Iron Throne. It is a war against Lander, the Westlander Ducal War for the claim of the Scorch Vale. So it's a war against the, the Iron Throne. Oh dear, I don't think the Iron Throne is going to win. He already hates me. I don't really care. I mean, I've never cared about Hesh. These guys suck. They are so worthless. I must be tempted to give them away back to the uh, cows, just so we don't have to deal with them. Of course I won't, because I won't give anything to the cows, because I hate them. The vassal has been captured by Lord Paramount Aaron Cinder of Mir and taken to me as a prisoner. So it could be a good time to maybe attack for the Stepstones while they're distracted. <laughs> we have a lot of claims. I mean, share his claim for the Iron Throne, but we can't directly attack us again. We actually don't have a dragon. Uh, Sainris does not have a dragon. There are no dragon conquests for us, but I mean, considering our focus on, on building for expansion, we don't exactly need it. If you're also under attack from new geese and in need of aid, you want me to... Uh, no. Why would I help you against my own vassal? Once the war over, he wants to vassalize this tiny province. Why would I want to protect against that? That's ridiculous. Why would you even ask me that? Like, calf, I can understand. But me? Silly. So, of these new powers, how would they do? So, for about 15,000, not a lot of gold. A lot more gold, a bit of a smaller army. Uh, and the dragons are already costing me money. Of course they are. Uh, Mir, 23,000. And gold. So these are... Mir might be the strongest. Unless Pentos is more. Oh uh, no, Pentos is pretty weak in the army regard. Very weak in the army regard, in fact. That's interesting. How's Bravos doing? Obviously very, very, very wealthy, but not that great in the army regard. Oh, I mean, he has just been at war, so I guess he just needs stuff to get the army back. But Mir is, is a surprisingly strong power. Mir and Valantis together is going to be difficult to uh, to beat. Provided that um, Aaron isn't, disc you know, I'm pretty sure him and his father get along well. Prosperity and more recent increases. Let's get the castle town up then to celebrate. So maybe do some upgrading here. Upgrade the castle town. I just need God actually enough. Oh, my mother tried to battle on the back of Abraxes. It's a fun dragon name. Lots of friends as well, for some reason. Two of them with Valyrian Steel Swords. The first being uh, Mad Flame. The uh, Blade of House Renegar, of course, over here on the Isles. But who's the other one with Valyrian Steel? It's, um... 
Leranos of Mentis, and they have the blade Rivers Warden. Interesting. I don't know where that comes from. But I'm not actually short. <laughs> I can upgrade a castle town here, get the court size up. Uh, I'm not. It's expensive though. What can I get in Valyria for like that same price? A lot. I can get a lot more in Valyria for a lot less. So it's, I'm gonna build up Valyria before we go back and build up a uh, Illyria more. Spurs the crowds. We like just beating up uh, those. Trade ports for no reason, basically. Just gives us joy. But we want to go to war just to get this one province so that we can have a more clean name. Because <laughs> this is a bit annoying me that the North Illyria is only here. There's nothing over here. Ooh, my cousin rides upon Tarion. And Tarion has crashed the game. Naughty Tarion. Wow, that is the first uh, crash for the sake of crashing we've had in a while. That was a bit surprising. Looking at Terry and the dragon crashed me. In fact, I'm going to test. Does looking at Terry just crash me altogether? No, it just for some reason that time it crashed looking at Terry. However, Terry is now being ridden as a new rider. An area of Choi Rain. Of course, this is one of uh, Guriax's kids, who is a grandchild of Zavdar. Alongside Rune and Electicon. We loved Zavdar. We truly miss Zavdar. If it looks his brother. So many dragons that just haven't lived for a long time. And now we don't have a dragon at all. Baina had a dragon. Look what it got him. Got him killed by Firecatcher, who is uh, 114, one of the oldest dragons left. Obviously, Meraxes is still alive. Realistically, I think we just have to say that Meraxes is this universe's, um, uh, like, Balerion. With how long she's lived. 252 years now. Currently being ridden by, uh, Aaron Cinder. Uh, who is obviously in Tyria, as he is part of the Aemon family tree. What an idiot. My nephew just... absolute idiot. An Ibanese named Lamex Lagosh. Why? Why did he come here? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll let you be my regent. You make sense as my regent. Why do so many of my vassals have interest on payments? Why, why do you take out a loan if you can't pay it back, you silly fools? Court and the court of Lake. Okay, so he's attempting to conquer Tiqui. No idea what that is. Is this place just called the Shadow? Are they all wear masks? Are they all disfigured, or why do they wear masks? Is there just like a likes to wear mask trait? Or I guess it must just be part of the culture, maybe. But interesting, the shadow. I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, I knew, I knew vaguely of it. I don't really know much or enough to to make anything. Let's talk about it. Ezran is at war in the Dishore War. I don't care about Dishore Wars. I mean, I I think Dishore Wars, you, a king would often let. You know, go ahead. I mean, these are these are wars with a claim. It's better than you can say for a lot of them. I mean, most wars have no claim at all. They just happen. God, the steward's tower takes forever. I nearly finished the castle town in the same amount of time as uh, one steward's tower was taken. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Here we. This is interesting. Doesn't seem like it's a powerful one, but Magras of the Harpy Uprising has declared the Harpy Revolt. 
A milit it's the Harbi rebels have risen up in Quimbury, led by militant. Then this is in Geese. Okay, they, okay, never mind. I thought it would be at least slightly interesting. They don't even have 2,000 troops. I'm not even going to raise anybody. I think Astapor will wipe them out just by walking near them. Like. Long after our endeavor. Uh, long before our endeavor to. I'm not giving you fucking Talos. Long before our endeavor to rebuild began, Dragonfields had a thriving harbor crumb of ships from all across the world. No, I probably didn't. Actually, no, it, this would have ever been a port anyway. I do believe this actually still would have been a port. It's not like, um. Other parts which the game says, oh, it would have had a port, but it's like, no, these here wouldn't have had a port. These were literally stuck in this, so. I think we have to, we've been saving it, we have to just buy the Valyrian architecture here. Valyrian architecture is just too good not to buy. There's a reason it costs 750 gold. Is it upgradable? No. Why does everybody want to be my designated region? Leave me alone. Okay, we are getting very laggy. Anytime I click on something, it seems to lag a bit. Rainer is actually this dragon that she calls Snow. How sweet. Why it's Pe Pentos is always a mess whenever they join a war. They just have a bunch of people who refuse to join with them. Like, compare that with Volantis, which was a mess for a long time, but now... I mean, I admit its borders are compressed. It used to be a bit wider. But we've compressed its borders a bit. But everybody rises with it. Everyone in Lys is rising with them. Everyone in Tarosh is rising with them. Bravos is all rising with them. It's just for some reason Pentos just keeps breaking apart. Ooh, an amphitheater in the hills of Nolos for 350 gold. It'll put me in debt, but I'm going to do it. And I'm also going to do this one, which will also put me a bit in debt. Um... I could uh, take out a loan? Oh no, apparently I've, I've ignored a bank debt, so I actually can't do that. Oh! Oh, but she wants Molris. No, I don't like that deal. I'll keep an eye on Jahira, though, because she is my sister. She originally was, I believe she was my next in line. Until my nephew was born, uh, and then the nephew took the took the claim. Your flagship Zildar has given many great years of uh, service to the North Valyrian fleet, but now it's aging. It must be retired or restored at substantial cost. I say we retire it. it. It's been around so long that I don't even think it would be considered a flagship anymore. You know, after after that amount of time, I, I think it's almost like four or five. Maybe even six generations that we've had so far in the in the royal fleet. Now she's offering for Tolos, but she did offer twice the money. No, still not going to sell it. We appoint the old council. Um. Yeah, let's him arrest him. This guy just keeps causing problems. And Neville could be ransomed. I was going to say, maybe I can ransom them for some money. To the great Empress Senis, the insidious Basilisk Isles traders must be expelled from your lands. If you agree to declare embargo war on Mistress Dana of... You will not only join the war on your side, but will also... Off a coin up front to fund the war effort. Should we fail, the 13 will pay any war reparations. So it's against her. I mean... Sure. I'll trust my, my uh, vassals to all honor their obligations and probably just handle this for me, honestly. <laughs> it pays off my debt. And it's not a major war. I mean, these guys have... Not even a thousand troops, so a fun, a fun little side adventure people can go on. <laughs> I know things get boring, lads. So why don't you just go off and do a little bit of conquering? I still, I, I can't believe that they gave geese away. Because look at this; it's years on, years on, and they have never been able to reclaim it. And geese is powerful now—sixteen thousand men. 
Compare that with uh, 19,000. You see the problem. All geese needs is one ally and they can absolutely crush their overlords. Which is never a situation you want to be in as an overlord. Just ask Tywin. Baina uh, Cinder has passed away. What a shame. I'm not going to join the High Septum in this defensive wars. What? He's actually in a defensive war right now. A de jour war over the most of our... People are conspiring to kill me? Surely not. Who would dare? Uh, let's get a proper Master of Whispers in. To protect me then. You know, a good, a good temporary council. As long as you're on scheme, you should hopefully uncover the plot and keep me safe. Yeah, that's the best option for now. Oh, did Valantis just go to war? No, I guess it's, it said he sought war, so maybe he's just waiting to do it. This is going to take a sweet time before doing the war. I must humbly ask the aggression of Lord Yaquo Hestia, who is invading my lands in an obvious contravention of the peace of the realm. Is it his own vessel? To overthrow the monarchy of Dracodis? Yeah, stand down. Oh, and he refuses. I mean, he's going to lose by the looks of it, but a war to make the monarchy stand down? It's not how it works. Oh, shit, actually, he may win. 9,000 men. Make a cinder rise on rail. One of the uh, Targaryen line. A crazed dragon. And that's totally never been a danger. Peace treaty. Accept. I bet the 13 are happy with us. And the Archon of Bravos is at war. Uh, I don't care about that one. Realistically, he can do what he wants with that one. Perion has a new rider. Nairis of Asar. Interesting place to live. She lives in the... Uh, the Troyan. We just have so many dragon riders spread out in completely random places, don't we? <laughs> it is so weird. It is just so, so weird. It's fun. It's it's good we have dragons in CK for now. I'll tell you that. And if you if you are interested in seeing some CK free multiplayer, and you're interested in the new dragon update, uh, on our brand new server, Plutonium, my server, we're going to be playing that very... Uh, up there, we're going to be playing the Rogue Prince. Plenty of dragons, plenty of fun. Um, if you're interested in signing up for that, it is a roleplay focused game, so roleplay is, is the, the prerogative that we all aim for. And uh, yeah, in, in the description, you'll find a link to sign up, and I strongly, strongly recommend it. I mean, obviously, I'm biased, but I really do think we're, we're making something quite, quite fun on that server, and I really hope people come and uh, give it a go. Just let us know what they think, honestly. Honest thoughts are always appreciated by me. Promise you that. Um, the great the castle town. So we're going to do that. During a visit to the hills of Nolos, Lord Paramount Cyril the Monstrous and our entourage were encountered by, accosted by brigands who made off with several valuables. Efforts to catch the thieves have failed, and Lord Paramount say, uh, say hello. Is now demanding compensation from Master Halasso of the Hills. Yeah, he'll have to compensate. Send some supplies to Yogos. Gonna help out uh, 
Dowager Queen. I mean, yeah, they've got a famine and economy. We're not doing too bad in, in these two, but we could definitely be doing better. At 44 years old, Dragon Karenik, owned by uh, Jeheris, the Kinslayer of Atlantis, has passed away. I wouldn't know if I'd call him a legend. 44 is not that old for a dragon. Especially to die of a natural cause. That's interesting. Dear God, I don't want to... Don't make me look at this. I don't want to try to explain this. This is a... This is a mess. That's all I can say. This is a mess. Excellent. More unrest. Always with the unrest from the, the conversions. Why can't people just accept that Valyrian is the best for them, you know? It's a great religion. Everybody should give it a go. Interesting. I can call a great council again. And maybe... Maybe I do, because my nephew is an heir? Oh, interesting. Astapor and Marine forming an alliance. Interesting. The problem is... What would a gr who would even be the candidates for a ground council? And would Sayo be so happy to give her... I mean... It's not her blood, it's it's in the blood, but so would whoever the candidate would be, they'd all be in the blood. I suppose the problem is more simply How do we how do we proceed? It is a very strange uh, circumstance to be in, you know, we're Realistically, I don't think she cares about the bloodline, but I think those around her would. Would they let a great council be called? What a great council would do is if we call, if we call a great council, and he wins, then we can guarantee that there will be no war of succession because there have been. I mean, this does feel like it's primed for a war of succession. All for all we know, my sister could come for the title to hear. I mean, she's been demanding titles down here, so. She definitely covets them. I think we have to do a great council. Do a great council in Illyria, see what people uh, see, what spend lavishly on food. I to kill with Lord Paramount Aaron from here. No doubt much campaigning will start. That was expected. Don't think he's gonna... All things are gonna go well for him. Lord Sigal Aaron has presented the petition to the Remnant Court, claiming that the temple was forced to pay by a sheriff. Mm. Fine, I'll pay him that. Summer is nearly at an end and the harvest is upon us. The feasting shall celebrate this time with food throughout Valyria, including boar, goose and berry, salmon, lobster, brought to Valyria. As part of this, you must decide how much of the harvest is set aside for winter. Uh, we have we have enough to, to pay for a large uh, reserve. Lord Freeholder Ariga has used his tents at the court. Uh, he says that Lord Jefferson has studied his reputation through defamation and libel. He is clearly not guilty of such lies. Uh, but she must be arrested. It's Anus Cinder being accused of sh by Shayna that he made an attempt on her life. He must be arrested for that. Prince, oh sorry, Commander, Commander Prince Baron of, of Atlantis has used his tendency to make a petition for the court. He claims that Aelor Cinder has sullied his honour by having illicit relations with his wife. 
behind his back, which on the living or the dead one. And the man's recompense for this slight. Uh, pay him. Pay the man. God, they're, they're all just demanding things I'll be at this feast. We've not even talked about the actual succession. He's used his attentive to make a petition. He claims that Hooray Ray got the. Uh, yeah, have her answer for her crimes. Now, can we have an actual thing about the succession, maybe? What about the succession? Oh, here we go. The feasting is over, and now the council can begin in earnest. Everyone is assembled in the hall with the more notable attendees closest to yourself. You formally announced that you would like to put the matter of succession before the laws of the realm, so that an heir can be decided by common consent. And my hope is that Magor is selected. Huh? Lord, okay, Lord, he recognised Lord Paramount Valerian's claim when he rose to speak. Valerian is... I need to rise up, is he... Oh, he's one of the new appointees there. Valerian is Pentos? Yes, Pentos. Valerian the Black. Uh, yeah, yes, and he argues that the child would not be good. She tried to convince her for the same, but no one agreed. Her arguments are in favour of Valerian. His arguments are in favour of Valerian. Oh my goodness, everyone's just in support of Valerian. Dear God. It's almost unanimous. Okay. He gave, so he gave a speech in favour of Lord Magor, but nobody was roused by it. Oh my goodness, and then he agrees with Vagod's claim. Oh dear. I think Valerian's def definitely might win this. Every single person supports him. Oh dear god. Uh, I will not speak. I will I will speak in favour of Magor, but I don't think it will work. It seems like... Uh, it seems like Valerian's pretty set in stone. Your speech is calm and measured, and you give many sound arguments as to why Lord Magor should be your heir. You outline the legal arguments in favour and highlight Magor's virtues. By the end, many of your subjects seem to be in agreement, but some are sceptical. Oh, it's a different Valerian. But they called him Lord Paramount Valerian. So he's just... He's 62. He is 62 years old. There is an heir and then there is an ancient heir. How, how is he any better? If it was If it was this Valerian, I could understand it. This Valerian is 38. And has more children than he has uh, brain cells. Or even Aaron would have been a good pick. I may I may even say that it's just say it was this Valerian. Because people we talking about Lord Paramount Valerian. This is the problem with uh, Valerians. They all have the exact same name. So it does make it a bit difficult. I find it a bit annoying that you can't just tell them who you want as candidates. I feel like... You know, I'm the king. I should be able to pick my candidates because I didn't really want some unlanded random to be a choice there. We'll see, but we'll see. Felix Cinder, pretty good uh, stats for a twelve-year-old. To be fair. I'm not paying the interest on any of my vassals. Oh, Tolos is prospering. Fantastic news. Looks like I could upgrade the barracks. Are the uh, Valyrian architecture finished yet? Yeah. Wow, it takes a long time to make uh, Valyrian architecture. The guards bring Baith and Cinder from his own from at your feet. I've come for your justice. By right of birth and blood, I demand a trial by combat. 
literally, you can't. We are Valyrian. We are not Faith of the Seven. I don't know why I have to agree with this. You know what? Lamex Lagosh. Have a go. He's dead. <laughs> I just picked him because, I, I mean, he just showed up one day. I have no idea who the fella is. He just seemed the, the nice little chap, you know? Just showed up one day from seemingly beyond the wall in the middle of one of the most wealthy empires in the world and said, I would like to be, uh, or have a position in your council, please. I mean, how can I say no to that? The guy was just so earnest. Oh, Halos of Nolus are up to an advanced colony. That means we could start building the mines in there. That sounds like a good idea to me. Honestly, we can actually start building the mines here as well. Because neither of them are going to be earning any tax profit from it. But again, when the colony finishes, we will be earning profit from it. The Lale is now ridden by Princess Mega Cinder. Mega? That's a really cool name. I've never seen a AI named Mega before of a Valyrian. Uh, of course, one of Jaehaerys' kids. I don't care what they I don't even think I removed him from my council as far as I'm aware. I will name Valerian as my regent because in my mind he's my heir and we're going to ignore the game. I'm not giving this idiot a title. Why should I give her a title? She is... she is awful. She's a torturer. Why would I give her a title? See, no solid argument for it. I haven't built any of the actual army things in Talos. Let's build a barracks in Talos. I built them in Mantaras, right? No, I, I didn't build the stables. I just think I could build a dragon pit in Mantaras. Can I build a dragon pit in Valyria? Yes, I can. We're definitely going to build a dragon pit uh, in Valyria. It just makes sense. It just makes absolute sense to build a dragon pit here, especially if this is going to become a new capital. We're going to need a dragon pit here if this is going to become the new capital, if we're being frank. Not that we really need dragons anymore with an army of 230,000. The only real threat we face is these internal wars. Those are the those are the big threat. I mean, it's so good seeing Valyria. Like, I, again, we, we only basically are four... Once these two finish, we are four off completing the main aisle, and then... Uh, Lady Reina of Vatahan is now rides on Lehurlium. I think I'll move to this aisle next because there's only three here. These three, because this is a, a uh, uncolonizable like mountains. And then once we have that one, obviously we'll move to the other big island, which is uh, this one here. But having this island and this island, would, like we are going to be so strong in this region. You know, strong in this region strong in this region. And then we can move from being north of Valyria to being fully... I mean, honestly, we're not that far off being Valyria now, I believe, are we? <gasps> oh, my apologies. We bring on the du jour. Okay, now we're quite far off forming the, the kingdom. We need a lot more to form the kingdom. We only have two of the High Lordships right now. And then the Empire. Honestly, it's only really... Can... Do we... No, I could create it now. The Empire of New Valyria. We have enough. And with us owning... I'm going to say that, you know, Sainris the Eagle, she deserves a legacy. And she's not going to have kids. The Great Council's decided that... I mean, they decided some random... Valerian, but we're going to say this Valerian is an heir. I'm going to say her legacy is going to be, she's going to be the founder. The Empire of New Valyria. And to t set it off even further, she's going to be the one to do it. We're going to make our capital Valyria. We are, we are a new age, a new era. All hail her magnificence. Sainris of the House Cinder, the first of her name, Empress of the New Valyrian Freehold, Great Archon 
of all the colonies of old Valyria, protector of the free cities and all the east, master of the Rhoyne, and lord of old Valyria and new uh, 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 lord of old Valyria and Valyria. All hail the Empress. What a beautiful colour as well. We've done all this without actually forming the kingdom of um, Valyria. That's going to be our next step is to form the, the kingdom. We hold nowhere near enough right now. We're going to need uh, this duchy down here, a duchy here, and one of these. I think it's three duchies on this island. We're going to need those. But really, when we form that, we're going to be in... It's going to be such a big moment. But this, this already is a big moment. To move from being for so long North Valyria to officially saying that we are Valyria. You know, we've earned this title. None can take away from us our, our efforts, our grandeur. For a long time we've been, you know, this successor of Valyria. And this just cements our, our true status as, as the... Not even the heirs of Valyria, not even the successors. We, we are just Valyria. A new Valyria, a new powerful, mighty Valyria. Uh, I, no, I don't need any coin. And eventually, when we're, we get these fully set up, we're even going to turn Valyria into the heirs title. But for now, that's not going to be the case. Um, I'm not going to pay the interest on behalf of my vassal, that's silly. Septon Leforio is going to ride on a dragon, now, is he? You know, let's construct a new flagship. Mm hmm. And it's going to be an enormous flagship fitting of the Cinder Fleet. We got it. We got to make a make our mark. And what makes your mark more than a massive fuck off fleet? You're, you're not a Duffer. I mean, hey, apparently he is a Duffer. I was going to say, is he like half calf? Yeah, he's, he's half pureborn. What? I'm going to send that army back down. That's an army of 66,000. You've slaved outside your capital, baby. Report to your uh, camp in Valyria. I guess I'm saying that they're just moving them all here from um, Illyria, which does make sense. Now the next thing we need to afford is we're going to save up for a dragon pet. The only thing that makes sense for me. Can we, can we like, give me one day's break without another Dothraki horde? Like, it is a bit ridiculous. I've been over every single time they show up how ridiculous and how frequent it is. So maybe we can just chill for a little bit. No, apparently we cannot. There's even more of them. I'm going to attempt to become a better person. That's that's not even a game thing. That's just a general, I'm going to try and be a better person. This is like the... the, the so many new dragons. I mean, I'm glad Firecatcher has someone new. Uh, after... Brutally murdering my husband. You damn bastard. Truly the worst dragon to have ever lived. And there's more Dothrak. <laughs> What's well, if I conquer all this in like one year, they just be independent again? You just can't do anything about the Dothraki. Moneris has a new rider. One with a very square draw, I may note. Um, a great, strong dragon riding trait is the, the square draw. I don't know why on earth is this guy in my air. I do not understand why they would pick this random dude of so many potential options. Okay. We're, we're reaching a point in the game where crashes are becoming a little more common. And that does mean for me, it's harder to get videos out. It's harder to get more and more out. I'm not sure if we'll get how I'm going to do the Patreon videos from now on. I'm going to, we're going to, I'll have a sit down, I'll have a think. Especially now we have the CK3 series out, which also, I, I would rather spend time editing the CK3 video than having to re-record bits of this because it crashes a lot. 
A construction of a new castle in the dragon fields. Um, to build it normally would be 600 golds. They'll build it for 400. Can I really say no? Fine, I'll say yes. Gold though. I'm gonna sell some slaves. Get the number back up and then we can um with that number up we're going to primarily focus on just getting to the, the amount needed for a dragon pit. Give me a lot of gold for the dragon pit, please. Damn. I mean, they'd say yes. I was hoping they'd fall for my tricks. Not offering them any gifts. Oh, they're sieging Hesh. You're not. You're welcome to do that. Just keep sieging it forever. Actually, just never leave that province, and I'll give you all the gold you want. Because I cannot stand Hesh. <laughs> Ugh, God, I hate them. An enormous flagship. I could name it the Emperor Magor. After my father, Magor the Messy. I could name it after myself. I'm going to name it after myself. Again, I don't have much of a in the way of legacy. And even though I'm not ambitious or anything, I do still think I'd like to have a bit of legacy about St. Louis. You could even say that this this flagship was actually made, not specifically by her, but almost in honour of her. By, you know, the, the lords of, of the realm. Wanting to honour her for her new kingdom and, of course, the new capital. I think that'd definitely be worth something uh, celebrating. Hmm. How close are we to drag pit? It's 700 gold. We can wait. We can wait. Um. I'm gonna break every bone in this bird's body. Well, she didn't like it. Wow. Clearly no taste. They keep. I don't. I can't spend my whole life. Protecting this colony because it gets sieged over and over and over again. The lands is just needs to fight his own wars, you know? That's what I've always said since day one. The lands is needs to fight his own wars. I know, very brave, but it's true. I like just looking at some of these names Rabo, Jagogo, Rono, Saf, Rozozo. Oh no, is this a G? Is that a G or a C? It is a C. Rozozozo. Rozozozo. Oh, Jehera Sindar has passed away, the, the Lord of Atlantis, and has granted the title to his son, Aenys. Oh my god, the Dragonfield's castle is costing me so much money. This better be worth it. This better be the, the greatest castle to maybe ever live. I don't care about Tarashi Landing. That's like whatever reason you're getting attacked for, is it? You just reached a claimant of my titles. Uh, Lord Yekko is hiring. Why are you a claimant to my title? Do you even have a dragon? No. Literally, what makes you a claimant to the title? Let's kill this guy. If I could send for a faceless man, I didn't even know that would be uh, possible here. Oh, dear God, every single person wanted to join this plot. Yep, every person wants to kill this guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, another crash. I've got, I've, we've made it. This is, I think, episode 24. 24 episodes with, with no crashes. And now I'm just having a couple over and over again. I mean, we're close to an end anyway. So, I, I guess it makes sense, at least. You want the Kingdom of North Illyria? Shut up. 
what I was going to say is uh, that I'm going to grant away the Castle of the Dragonfields because uh, there's not much point in me having it. Interesting, I can upgrade it right away. It must be a lot cheaper to upgrade that then. However, we do have enough gold to get to work on the Dragon Pit, hopefully. Irudix. Almost a spinning image of uh, Iphelix, but doesn't actually look like it, but isn't uh, the same uh, family as Iphelix, is what I meant to say. Uh, they're of the Targaryen tree, not the um, Majesty tree. Or as I guess the game calls it the Cinder tree. But it's not. The arrival of mine. Ooh. The Archon of Lys passed away of the Grey Plague. He actually did have a child before he died. But he's passed away of the Grey Plague. And a new Archon has been named. Also of Illyrian culture. So I'm more than happy with that. But definitely the guy with a rash, a fever, and diarrhea. What a wonderful pick, guys. Excellent work. I can see why you guys are doing well. They're just intentionally electing guys who are going to die soon. It's part of their genius strategy to, to ensure nobody ever has too much power. You know, it would probably work, so I don't blame him. Did he actually immediately die? <laughs> Not even... I don't think it was even a month. Imagine that, you, you, you spend like a month doing elections to determine who the new lord is going to be. The new Archon. The Archon takes the throne and then reveals to all, I have the Grey Plague, and then <laughs> dies before his first public appearance. Are you dying of the Grey Plague? No. Okay, great. I'm sure you'll be fine at the job. If you last more than a week, you're already an improvement. Genuinely? The floor is at the right bottom. As you said, the floor should be green, lads. Died under suspicious service at the age of 29. Aina of Mia is already dead. Can people stop dying? <laughs> this is getting absurd. This is just, this is... This might be the greatest game I've ever played. <laughs> just, just people just dying. Over and over again. Uh, let's get some volcanic activity. Because it's actually really good uh, to have volcanic activity. Who gives size growth for, for dragons? What's it going to get? Valyrian mines there. Just because why not? Getting Valyrian mines in every province. I should get another castle in Valyria just so I can keep stacking the, the Valyrian mines over and over and over. I've converted the people of Slaver's Road to Valyrian Fake. Well, that's something, isn't it? I mean, the Harpy is, is really fading out here. I mean, it's it's barely around. <laughs> Young Kai's almost entirely Valyrian. I believe this bit is Valyrian already. <gasps> and these parts, I think, are Valyrian? I believe... No, I don't think this much is Valyrian. I think it's mainly R'hllor. So we've done good to sort of, like, beat R'hllor out of this area and bring in... Um, a stronger presence of Valyrian. And of course, Valyrian's hopefully going to be spreading through the south here as well. Faith? I love it. What? When, what the... When did I... Huh? Why is this guy... This is... Can I call another great council, maybe? Um... Oh, that bloody pox has broken out. Dear lord, this is this year is going very strange. This is great, but I couldn't stand King Aaron's irritating voice for more than a couple of hours, so I excused myself, grabbed a couple of bottles of Solorus pale green wine and head for a quiet corner. Shayna Cinder had been a had the same thoughts. Okay, we shared a drink and discussed our dislike for King Aenys. Yeah, fuck that guy.
Imagine going to this, he's literally at a funeral for his dear beloved family and he's just like, fuck this dude, honestly. Whoa, 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 a dance of the dragons. It's reward for you with the dragonflies of Valeria Cinder, Rider of El Alderon. And Lady Vicinia Cinder, rider of Malus, met in fierce combat. Lady Vicinia prevailed, killing Adaron. And he's only a seven year old dragon, so it makes sense. What war was this? War for Yunkai, apparently. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They think Vayman Cinder now rides first attack into battle. An 84-year-old dragon. That is a pretty good get. Lord Vayman of Yunkai. I think he's second in line? Yeah, he is second in line after um Alaris of Marine. What a what a great guy Alaris is, honestly. Love Alaris. Oh no, she, uh, Alaris is a female. I literally knew she was because she was literally on a thing earlier. I don't know why I forgot that. But that would mean that actually it's, um, he is first in the night. And there we go, Dragon Pit built in Valyria. That is why we're going to call it for this episode. Uh, we've had a couple of crashes, so the game stability is dropping a little bit. I'm going to look in the save files and see what I can do to get it back up. But we are 24 episodes in, and I'm so happy to see this red color. We have finally formed the Empire of New Valyria. We are expanding massively on the capital, and Valyria itself is already becoming a very, very strong city. And it's only going to go up from here. We're going to be working on increasing the mines. We're going to be working on... Increasing all this. I mean, we're going to get the slave camp up. We need to get the slave camp up really high to get the mines. So we're going to be doing some, you know, splundering, some raids on the isles. Pick up whatever we can. Maybe expansion by war. Uh, maybe not in Senris' time, but when I fix her air, maybe her air will be looking at expansion through war as a, as a wise option for them. Uh, as they continue to expand through colonies as well. Either way, this has been a really, really fun episode for me, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Obviously, these episodes uh, are taking a slightly more of a back burner compared to the CK3 series, as that's taking a lot of focus and a lot of uh, effort. But uh, I still consider Cinder to be a really important series, and one that I still care a lot about, and I hope that you guys who have been watching with me continue to keep watching and continue to keep caring too if you have any suggestions any ideas for the series please do let me know i want to thank you guys so so much and i hope to see you in the next episode until then